Welcome, I am Joshi, and this play for Marvel Champions, we have Hulk versus Loki in standard Hulk Beast. Now, full disclaimer, I think Loki might be my least favorite villain of the game, um, just because there's so many different variations that it's impossible to build specifically to counter him, because who knows what's going to come out. Um, essentially, we are going to go aggression with Hulk. We pretty much will lose if we get the Loki that cannot take damage while our side skins play, because I just can't win based on, based on this deck. Not sure I can win anyway with this deck. I uh, even find the normal Lokis, but we'll see how we go. Um, so these Lokis all uh, according to our setup. We set each copy of Loki aside out of play. Out of play there. Um, for our setup, we have the Infinity Gauntlet into play. And we put the War and Asgard side scheme into play. So it'll be in here somewhere. That comes into play, comes with a six threat plus a uh, hinder one per player, so it'll have seven threat on it and puts an acceleration icon into play. Just grab that. Just grab this, but we're not going to worry about it. It has a when defeated effect. Uh, we reveal the top card of the Team Stone deck and swap Loki with another random set aside Loki. Uh, we reveal that one set aside of Loki, so let's uh, shuffle these up and you're going to get the piercing Loki. So he has a scheme of one, attack of two, his attacks gain piercing. And when defeated, we discard cards from Southern Counter until side scheme is revealed and reveal that side scheme. Uh, we reveal the top card of the Infinity Stone deck. So we're going to get Limestone, that will probably make us lose. And we'll flip over to this side. We have one threat on here. When we defeat uh, Loki, we advance to another set aside Loki. We have to defeat two to win. Uh, so with that all set up, let's uh, let's go straight into. It. I think we're good. I will drop our five cards. We have Banner's Lab, Limitless Strength, Combat Training, Skilled Strike, and Power of Aggression. We'll throw Banner's Lab. Hopefully get a um, oh we got Hulk Smash. Nice. Um all right. Whoops. Mm, no, we will we will put up to Hulk. We'll use a power of aggression. Putting combat training giving us plus one to our attack. Uh, we will then Hulk smash for 14 plus the skill strike, taking it to 16. One to Loki. Taking him down to four. Good start, but I feel like that's already made us lose. We're ready. Draw four cards. Limit the strength. Suborbital leap. Bobber. And counter attack. Oh, we might have to resort to suborbital leap. All right. Um. Two threat goes on the main scheme. Loki's gonna attack us for three plus two, so five. Uh, and then time stone happens, so we discard the top four cards of your deck and place one threat in the main scheme for each different card type discard this way. So we have an event, an event, an event, an event. So just one threat. That's actually not the worst thing about it. Time stone goes away. Get our encounter card. The villain attacks us. So he's coming again for three plus three, so six. Bring us down to seven. And you'll put another stone into play. That'll be a space stone. Uh, all right, we're going to attack for four. Defeating this version of Loki, so he goes into the victory display. I'll just put it over there. I went defeated with discard cards till we get a side scheme. Definitely others in here. 
Let me go across one more. Okay. There we go. Next one. Uh, so we have Casket of Ancient Winters. Comes with four, but plus one hinder five. So that's going to put Amplify into play. Now we've got another Loki. It's going to be the Retaliate Loki. So he schemes a two, attack of one, and he has Retaliate. Is it? Nope, he should have 20 health. Right, he's gonna. Like, do I take the risk? Sub over like flip down. Or is that just. I'll just be hitting. I'll just be hitting. Because we clover counter attack. All right, this is probably the wrong move, but we are going to sub all the leap to remove five threat off here. So I'm going to go four, but that's fine. We're going to spend one to put in a counter attack. We are going to flip down and ready. And hope for good card here. We have skilled strike, boundless rage, sub all the leap. Unstoppable force, another counter attack. Right, we get two threat main scheme. Loki's going to scheme for three plus four, five. Discard cards top and counter till the minions discarded. We put them into play. We didn't have any left, but discarding so many cards. There comes a frost giant, he'll come with tough. And he'll scheme for one. Oh, sorry. Uh, plus, I forgot that we have the exhaust, so that should be up to sort of nine. And then we'll get our last encounter card Unnatural Storm. When revealed, exhaust each ally in play. We don't have any, so that's fine. That's going to come with two. And heroes and allies cannot be ready by player card effects. So they can still ready, just not by player card effects. Uh, encounter card, encounter deck is run out. Permanent acceleration on here now. That's not good. We will experiment to research, draw a card, discard a card. We have Flobber. Oh, so do we skip? Do we flip up and sub all the leap that we got? Most damage base. Um, we can only sub all the leap. I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, flip up into Hulk. We're going to spend two resources to Flobber for three. First card we played, so it comes with our hand. And Loki down to 17. Spend our clobber to put in a boundless rage, giving us another plus to our attack. We're then going to attack for five plus a skill strike six seven, taking Loki down to ten. We're going to ready. We draw four cards. We have a movable object, crushing blow, piercing strike, another crushing blow. Uh, so, what do have? so this is going to go up by three. Does that mean we lose? I think that means we lose. One, two, three. Yeah. We've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it's going to go up by three and we, we're going to lose. Ah! Oh, that's so close. Like, if we possibly got through that, I mean, let's just, let's just play it out, see how it would have gone if, uh, if we made it through. Let's say, all right, so Loki comes in, he's going to attack us for two. We're going to take that. So that's going to be two plus three. We're going to discard counter attack, so we're going to take the three. Deal three to him. 
we would have got power stone, cross giant would then hit us with three as well. Or oh, sorry, that it would have been four. So it goes down to six. Cross giant would attack us with three, which means six. I think we have three. So we defend against the frost giant. We get our encounter card uh, that we would get stunned. Uh, unfortunately, it wouldn't have probably worked out anyway because we would have crushing blow to remove our stun, crushing blow to deal five damage. Would have been fun. like we would have just been off anyway. So, unfortunately, uh, Loki turned out to not be a puny god. He managed to get the win on us there, but uh, still, we could have probably got there if we just got a few of the right cards there, and you know, um. I think rushing him down Hulk is the only way to get, but it's like such a, such a gamble one way or the other, either, either get a win or get a lose, like just rushing down like this sort of style. But unfortunately, uh, Loki beat us there, so props to him. I told you that yeah, I hate the scenario because I just can't plan for what sort of Loki is going to come out. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.